This is a tutorial on how to use Microsoft Excel to determine a 95% confidence interval in statistical analysis. So you can download this data set uh, in the link in the description um, and go to the sheet titled 95% CI. So this is a number of measurements of hummingbird bill lengths and we want to find out what the we want to report on what the average bill length is, but we want to be really precise in that and give a 95% confidence interval of those measurements. So the first thing you need to do is to turn on your data analysis packet in Excel if you haven't already done that. So the way to do that on a Mac is to go to Tools and Excel Add-ins and make sure that these two boxes are checked. And in your data menu bar, you'll see this show up on the side. Now it looks different on a Windows machine. There's a link in the description showing you how to do that on Windows. So what I'm going to do is go into data analysis and I want to go scroll to descriptive statistics. Okay. I want to change, set my input range and that is column A to, to 21. Those are the data points, grouped by columns. So if you had more than one uh, group, you could do this um, all at once by setting your groups in columns or rows, however you have them set up. I'm going to choose my output range uh, to be B2, right where it is. Then I need to make sure that the summary statistics box is checked and that the confidence level for mean box is checked. And make sure that this is 95%. So I could change the confidence if I want to have a 99% confidence interval. Uh, I could just set this to 99. We're going to do 95% confidence and hit OK. So starting in B2 where I told it, uh, this shows me for column one, this is my one set of data, what the average is, the mean, and a number of other information, including the standard deviation. It also has standard error and uh, sample variance, if you're using those to calculate other things. Um, the confidence level is then the next interesting measurement. So if you take this value and subtract it from the mean, that's the start of your confidence interval. And if you add this value to the mean, that's the end of your confidence interval. So let's go ahead and calculate that. Um, I'm going to set this equal to mean minus a confidence level value and right next to it I'm going to set this to the mean plus confidence level. Enter. So the last thing I need to do is right click on these format cells and under number I need to set these to one decimal place because you'll see my measurements are made with one millimeter or one tenth of a centimeter as my measurement uncertainty. So I need to reflect that in my reporting of the confidence interval. So my 95% confidence interval is between 2.7 and 3.3 centimeters and with an average of three centimeters, 3.0 as we'll have to round up 2.975 to 3.0. That's how you calculate a 95% confidence interval. 